think I can count the number of societies that she belonged to. Because you see her keep struggling. Even in her sickness, when she was struggling last year, I remember the, I went to visit her in the hospital where she was gasping for breath. And just within a week, I saw her again in the church at the afternoon mass. And I would say, Mama, what are you still doing? That don't worry, we will be bringing communion to you. But she said, no, that she has to still come out and still come to church. It all started when her grandson left her. Because I believe that is her beloved son. When he went to the minor, to the, to, to the seminar, to the uh, boarding school. So we thought that was the reason, but we knew that it was time for her to go and rest. So she has come to rest. And we pray that God himself will give her that true rest, which we cannot get here on earth. That God will console the family members and those that have personal relation with her. That God himself will also console you and grant you the grace to be able to fill in that vacuum that she has left behind. For this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. All glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. We will not bow down our heads and reflect for a while. Christ our Lord, by his death and victory over sin, has opened the gates of heaven for his people. We pray, O oh Lord.
let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, Lord Jesus, our Redeemer, you willingly gave yourself up to death so that all might be saved and pass from death to life. We humbly ask you to comfort your servants in their grief and to receive Margaret into the arms of your mercy. You alone are the Holy One. You are mercy itself. By dying, you unlocked the gates of life for those who believe in you. Forgive Margaret her sins and grant her a place of happiness, light, and peace in the kingdom of your glory forever and ever. Amen. The litany of the intercession. Our response will be, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Risen Lord, pattern of our life forever, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Promise and image of what we shall be, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Son of God, who came to destroy sin and death, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Word of God, who delivered us from the fear of death, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Crucified Lord, forsaken in death, raised in glory, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, gentle shepherd, who brings rest to our souls. Give peace to Margaret forever, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bless those who mourn and are in pain. Bless Margaret's family and friends who gather around her today. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord. May the soul of the Margaret's, and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Please let us be seated. Now we shall have tributes. Um, we have a list of some people who have indicated interest in uh, giving tributes, especially the societies to which she belonged. So we just have a few here from the confraternity of Christian Mothers, I think from the deanery or from the parish, from the Association of Sacred Heart of Jesus, maybe, from the Archdiocese and from the parish, from the Legion of Mary and from the Catholic Diocese of Isiluku community, those from first Agenary before the members of the family will do theirs. So please, if you are representing any of these groups, please come forward now for your tribute. I would appreciate that because of time, you are conscious of time. Please keep it to two, three minutes so that we'll be able to utilize the time well. Please, the members of the, the representative of the CCM, please come forward. CCM, Sacred Heart, Legion of Mary, and the Catholic Diocese of the Sailor Group. First, I give you this come forward. Good evening, brothers. Good evening, my able parishioners. Mother of Sorrows, Queen of Peace. Mother of Sorrows, Queen of Peace. Mother of Sorrows, Queen of Peace. We are talking of who? A lovely mother. A generous mother. A mother that knows the heart of the children. Mama did not have only her children, but she has a lot of her children. I knew Mama right from when she was in Nazareth school. That was in 1983 when they opened Nazareth school. Even when church was opened in Festac in 1988, 
Mama has been known by many of us. I don't see what I will use to compare who she is. We are just begging God to give us the strength to be able to do not even quarter of what Mama has done. I salute you, the children. Your mother brought you up in a wonderful way. And to so many whom you later hear that your mother is my mother. Your mother trained me. Your mother gave me a food. That is Mama Ogo for us. She's a wonderful woman. Mama converted a lot into the Catholic religion of she, who she is. She converted a lot of soul into Catholic church. Don't tell Mama anything about any church in this world. She's not interested to hear. Whether there's any existing church again in life, Mama does not know that one. What Mama knows is a Roman Catholic eh, church, which she stood with. Mama shares rosary to both non-Catholic and the Catholics. She's a wonderful woman. She's one of the founders of the Fraternity of Christian Mother, Lagos Adelsis. She's one of the good founders, second person. She and one Mrs. Queen, they are the founders of CCM. Mama is a wonderful woman. She knows where she's going. When we went to visit her when she was sick, she was smiling. Nay, on a local, that means, my dear, people will try. Thank you very much. Any little thing you give to Mama, she values it more than any, every other thing. She values every little thing you give to her. But she gives more than anybody can give her. She's a wonderful woman. If all of us can cry, Mama can say Rosemary 30 times a day. She doesn't care. She will keep on repeating it, repeating it. If she comes to your house, Kazi Rosemary, that's what she will ask you. That's Christ your Rosemary. You never expect you to come to somebody's house and start asking Rosemary in the kitchen. Kazi Rosemary. And as she's asking, she's giving it out. The one she has in her bag. Even a rose, I can a big person like me not have rose. She wants to add to the one you have. She's a generous woman. Anybody who comes across her will know that what we are doing here, she's smiling. She's smiling to us. When the only family started, we knew what she and her great husband did to the only family. So mama has no comparison at all. We can't compare her to anybody. We <laughs> God continue to bless her, bless the children. Other is to carry your cross. Carry the cross your mommy carries so that you can try. It's so, it will not be big for you in the name of Jesus.
Good evening, fathers, the religious, and my dear brothers and sisters. Glory to Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to Jesus. I should have just gone back to my seat when the Archdiocese Council representative has already spoken. I, I'm standing here still on behalf of the Association of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. <laughs> so like I said, I'm standing on behalf of the Parish Association of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Actually, like um, my sister has said, it's very difficult. This is one person I find very difficult to describe. I joined the association in 1990 and I met her. So her zealousness and the way I saw her meticulously taking things of the association made me move closer to her. And then, with my challenges in my faith, from the family. I never knew that my own was a cup of tea. Because actually, when you know a Christian, is when you are facing trials. She gave me a bit of it. Right from the family, challenges with the children, those she has lost, things like that. Despite all us, Mama continued. She gave me the story of how the association started. We all knew she's one of the foundation members of the church. Likewise, she started the association. And the team grew. So Mama is one person that is very happy when she sees you trying to follow her footsteps. She's one person like that. And from the, the parish, she encouraged us. In short, she moved to the National Council. She was once the treasurer of the National Council of the Association. So we thank the Lord, like my sister said. She's always at every devotion, prayers, and she will not close her ear and eye to see that you pronounce something wrongly or you said one prayer before the other. She will call you back and tell you that that is not how it is. God. So she persevered in the faith and she became really a model for those who are out to worship their God in truth and in spirit despite all the trials and tribulations. So, you know, our joy is that something she started, she nurtured and she saw to it till her death. She persevered till the end. Even on her sick bed, when we went to a Navy hospital. When she saw me and Sister Shamu, she was there asking, and told me, I did the adoration, and told me, I said, look at my mouth, that you have come to see. So, thanks be to God, who gave her the grace to persevere till the end. Trials and tribulations did not take her away. Sickness did not distract her attention. So, we thank God and pray that the good Lord who empowered her to persevere to the end, we receive our soul. And to the family, we have nothing to say that even if it is one, one virtue of this wonderful mother you hold on to and build on it, I believe the sky is too small to be your limit. So may God help all of us as we are struggling to continue with the faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to Jesus. Good evening, my brothers and sisters. Good evening, our religious, and good evening, our fathers in the house. I represent the Catholic Diocese of Isedu. Again, everywhere Mama belonged, she was the founder. 
This was a woman, I can only describe in one word, a lover of God. One sentence, a lover of God. She loved God and she loved to serve God in every capacity. All the societies and organizations she belongs, she founded or she was part of the founder of each and every one of them, including this is a local art diocese. She started it from the art diocese and insisted that the headquarters would be in Pesta. And so it is to it. We cannot eulogize Mama enough. A whole day will not be enough to tell the story of who they, Margaret, um, I don't know who war is. History will remember her. She was herself a repertoire of history. Mama kept history, everything she did. I think she wrote a book sometimes on her 60th birthday because she was urged to document some of these good deeds so that history on a day like this will look back and remember her. I remember during the 40th anniversary of this parish, practically every document we used for the history of the church, Mama provided. I even still have some, I must confess, that I have yet to return to her. She is ever willing to help you once it has to do with the work of God. Anytime you are a leader or in charge of something to do with the work of God, Mama is always there with you. She keeps patting you on the back. She keeps telling you, go ahead. I am with you. Don't worry. You have a problem. Never mind. She is ever supporting you. She is a confidant of people like me and so many others here will testify. There is no problem you take to Mama. You will come back praising God. Because by the time she uses her life to give you examples, you begin to thank God. Like they say, when you hear other people's problem, you begin to thank God for your hope. I don't know where else, but for me, she was a confidant. She was a god fearing woman, a lover of God. I am praying that the children, those of you she has left behind, like we said at the week yesterday, will please follow her footsteps in the love of God. Join the groups she has founded or co-founded and continue the work my man left. Continue to leave her legacy because I believe that will be her greatest joy. I know on so many occasions, events in this parish, my will come. Hey, who do we vote for? So, who do you think we should, you know? She loved people who work for God, and she was ever willing to render any help. I pray God that whatever sins are left unforgiven, that the good Lord will look upon her good deeds and have mercy on her. As she journeys, may she meet with God. As I always pray, may she and all of us not die in God's discretion. Through Christ our Lord. Good evening, fathers, holy family. Through Mary, our mother, through Mary, our mother, I want to condole with the family on behalf of the Catholic women of position of this parish. Mama was a dedicated member. In fact, in 2022, she was given an award as the best because we had, uh, we had appraisals that we give to ourselves on a yearly basis. And she was always up to date financially and she attended Monday devotions. She never missed any of them until her health started failing. And that was when we knew there was something that was out of the ordinary. Her mom would be greatly missed. As you can see, even in her photograph, she was always cheerful. I've never seen her frown. And she doesn't really tell what goes on within her. Because you always see her cheerful. And she was always supportive. A lot have been said about her. I don't want to start repeating some of the things that have been said. But I tell you, she was one of the persons that I would say supported me when I assumed office as the president of this organization. She would always refer you to resources, to books, 
to tell you the right things to do and what is expected. We pray the good Lord grant our soul eternal rest. And most importantly, the Bible says something. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But God is faithful and just to forgive us from all our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So we pray that the Lord forgives her all our sins. For those of us left behind, let's be mindful of the kind of life we live. We have listened to the scriptures. Let's try within our paths what we can do to live a life that is worthy of emulation. She was a steadfast Christian. She lived a good life. Thank you so much. God bless. We listen to a member of the precious blood of Jesus Christ, the apostolate. Some from Sarah Club was here as well. If you want to say if he was, please come two minutes. Good evening. People of God. Precious blood of Jesus Christ. My name is Rose. Our Hebrew mother. Wonderful mother, great mother. What we call Jesus, what we call her. What we call mother means is what we call her. All her attributes cover that of mother and Jesus. Wonderful woman. You cannot do without her. In our devotion, she's always watching. She's always dedicated. Whenever she's coming from devotion, she must carry her own books and the books are extra books which we can use and share the books to love her. Charity is her name. As we have been talking about our charitable life and everything, she did not stop here in Nigeria. As my father let her say, that she was preparing her exit since last year. That woman me to say, I will not stop, I have to come and say something. But for my mother made it die and she just died. I'm telling you honestly. When she was talking that to Benga, she said, he said, it is finished. Let me tell you one more our mother said this last year, September. September is the month of reparation in the Holy Land of the special blood of Jesus Christ. Then, my great uncle called the next. She called me, who said? I said, Mommy, I want to see you. I said, okay, I hope all is well. She said, no problem. I said, come and come with me. This is hard. It's okay. Do you want anything? Yes. I don't want to hold it out this one. I say no. Please, I want a cup of tea. I want that this is of rosary. I want that this is of prayer I want that this is of the fair. I want it in agonizing cross of Jesus Christ. I say wonderful moment. Who are you giving this uh, all these things? Are they consecrated? He said, Where? She said, In London. One laugh. Okay, mommy, if you're not in the world, then this uh, particular person is of 15 at the last person. For me, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot negotiate that. Can't you start with three pieces? I said, Okay, it's okay. Go ahead. I said, Give me time, let me find the prices of all these things. I'm not going to look for my friends to go. What happened? I have to look for prices, go to my friends, those that are saying you to my people and everyone that they are in the house. Asking those who they're going to the Holy Land. They indicated, okay, I found the prices. I came and come back. I said, Mommy, they have uh, given me the prices. He said, okay, why don't you start it? We go there, we take the prices, we are in the prices. We three go to the street. Okay, we send. <laughs> now, let me conclude. So, after two days, we call me, Mrs. Suja, please, I want, if I won't go see me, they will kill you. They will kill you. How am I going to defend this? I'm very concerned, they say yes, I will tell them. So, when I do them, I tell them. 
And I will look at her and I say, what type of woman is this? When men are not calling to support, a woman is calling of her own volition to support. And thankfully, she was a very dedicated patroness of the Catholic Men Organization. I want to conclude by encouraging the children, especially my brother. I haven't seen you before. My brother, I haven't seen you before. I'd rather talk to you than to the women. I think it's important, like a lot of speakers have said here, that you, you learn, not just you, but you and your sisters, to emulate some of the virtues of mama. If you are in Nigeria, I would have forced my chairman to conscript you into CMO. But wherever you are, just remember that you had a mother who was very dedicated to the things of the church. And I can tell you for free that her dedication is not and will not be in vain. May the good Lord rest her soul and may she be in heaven to comfort all of you and to comfort all of us through Christ our Lord. See you more. Christ is our leader. Thank you. Thank you very much. We we'll listen to the children from the choir quickly. Then we will go to the second part of the tributes from the members of the family. There is um, CMO, Holy Family, America Branch. You join now. Or Diaspora Branch. You can still join so that you are part of it.
divine mercy together. We sing together. We cry together. Why, my dears, my sweet grandma, I'll miss combing your hair. I'll miss tying your scarf. I'll miss cleaning your shoes. I'll miss carrying your handbags. I'll miss your beautiful smiles, my sweet grandma. Thank you for teaching me morals to be a good and God fearing God. You taught me how to read the Bible, visit the chapel, and grow good. You are always there for us, and you will continue to be there for us. When I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is to greet your GC grandma, and your respond, no one. I feel very happy. Oh, my sweet grandma. Oh, my beautiful grandma. Oh, my peaceful grandma. Oh, my loving grandma. Oh, my prayerful grandma. Oh, my darling grandma. I love you, grandma. You are the best. Thank you for loving me without complaining. I'm going to miss you, my sweet grandma. For she loves you, my grandma is on. May the soul of my grandma and the souls of all the faithful departed. May she rest.
very humble. And one thing we have learned from her is God's will be done in our lives. That was what she did. And she really touched us. We know that she'll be smiling with the Lord. And we pray that when our own time is up, God will receive us also into his bosom. Thank you very much.
what happens over there. I'm sure that Margaret is rejoicing and rolling uh, somewhere. And yes, it's thanking God for what God has done for her. God has used that in her lives. Like somebody said, she was never prepared for groceries. She wants to give groceries away. And she talks about God everything. She's a lover. She loves God. She loves Christ. You know? So we have to thank God for her life. It's the age she came to the end. And once you get to the end, you come back. Life is short. I read a story of somebody who was in the bus. And a woman came in and was trying to, was actually pushing her. It was a nice situation. And somebody was surprised that she could not play. And when I did the end of the day, she said, the other woman said, I said, it's a short ride. And that's what that is. It's a very short place. So we have to tell her that. And you, who have learned a lot of that. But what I have said, what all of you have said, I think there's a lot of blessings for all of us to learn. Not only us, but also yourself. Let us learn from what she has done. She has brought this life. She has sat God in her own way. And we are testifying to it. And we want to hear our prayers. And give her help. I thank the parish, I thank the brethren, I thank the parish for all you have done for her, for all you have done during this period. And I am asking that you please give her thanks to the cardinal. Cardinal Rude and to the Archbishop, the Dwellen Matthews, for all you did for her. We are thankful, we are grateful, and thank, thank you enough. But you have shown us, your parish has shown us that they can do more than an interest that you have done for their members. Thank you very much. that we have written for her. I'm sure she was 
Her eyes were filled with tears when Fossey was giving his beautiful tribute. Yes, because she loved God. So we thank her for the example of love of God that she has shown us. And we continue to pray. We will not stop praying for her, that her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, will rest in peace. Amen. On behalf of all of us as well, we extend our deepest condolences to the members of the family, to the children, the grandchildren, to our siblings, to the members of the family, those who are here and those who are not here. We continue to thank God for who Mama was to us and to you. As you have heard, the legacy that she has left for us and for you, continue to carry it, continue to live her life. I am sure everybody will have something to say. I don't think we've had any wake or burial that we've had many societies. All these people from societies came to talk. There are people from other societies that couldn't talk. But because of time, we can't listen to others. Some of the societies, like you heard, she was in the parish, she was in the deanery, she was in the archdiocese, she was in the national, she was even in the international, since here. So she was everywhere at CWU. So we thank her for her commitment. And for all of us, we cannot just come and say, what are we gaining from this? What are we gaining? Are we just going to wait and eat for puff and soft drinks when we finish and not gain anything? Learn from her the commitment, learn from her the sacrifice, learn from her the love of God. Not just in the secret service, but in the active and public service of God. So we pray that her soul, that the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. So I want to thank all of us who are here. I want to especially thank, I'm sure we'll have more priests tomorrow and more religious. I want to especially thank the priests who made out time to be here with us today. I want to thank our brother for the homilist, Father Mark Okoji, parish priest and Timothy Agura from Lagos Archdiocese. I want to thank Father Melchizedek Opala, the formator at St. Peter and Paul Major Center in Bolivia, a first act priest as well. Father Mark is also a first act priest, he grew up in first act as well. I want to also thank Father Robert Oji, who is presently the chaplain of the CCN, and Confraternity of Christian Mothers of First Act Dinner. Thank you for coming to be with us. Thank you so much. I want to thank the sisters who are here. Uh, thank you, the Sanderia, uh, the choir, and all of us who are here. Thank you so very much for this time you have spent with us. The program continues tomorrow. Above all, let us pray. Let us continue to pray for the repose of our soul. May our soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us rise for the final blessing. Page 37. Blessed are those who have died in the Lord. Let them rest from their labors as their good deeds go with them. Eternal rest grant unto our O Lord. May our soul rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and may the peace and blessings of Almighty God come down upon you and remain with you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we shall join the choir to sing a recessional hymn in page 44 and 14. Page 44 and 14.
program with me. Please remember to drop the programs. Please don't send them away. Please, as we go out, let's go out through these doors on your right. Through these doors and kindly share uh, what the family has brought for us just downstairs. Please let us be orderly as we share what they are sharing with us to remember this. Please, let's all go out through these two doors on your right, please. Let's all go out through these two doors and the staircase on this side. Thank you.